Hello guys, Paolo here, and today I am bringing you a commentary over a 40 gun streak on Hijacked. I'm playing with a couple friends. I'm playing with Real Deal, Noah, and uh, Walrus, or King Noah's brother. You've seen him in the previous video or something, but first I want to start about the, or first I want to start off saying the next Word to Commander will be uploaded soon, but there's going to be no audio in it because my mic was messed up for some reason. So for you, those guys wondering where the Word to Commander has been, it will be uploaded soon. But I will make a briefing at the beginning of the video or start the video with saying that my mic was messed up and so I muted the gameplay audio. It was really annoying. It was like, I don't know, something was wrong with the microphone and my voice was really low, like not the voice level, but it like muffled my voice. It kind of sounded like I was in a tunnel or something. It was like, it was like all weird and stuff sounding. But now that I got that out of the way, it's a 40 gun streak on hijack domination. So enjoy that in the background. And what I am going to be talking about today is the Call of Duty community dying out, it's especially for PC. So. Right now, if you guys are PC players, you really know that for Black Ops 2, there's only about 8,000 people or players online at one time during the day. And then once you get to the later times at night, there's only 1,500-ish. And that's not enough to keep the game going. I mean, you can find the basic game modes that PC has. There's only basically three game modes that people play. People play Team Deathmatch, Nuke Jacked, and Domination. And you can get into like free for alls or something sometimes. But we cannot play the better game modes, so to say, like the ones on console that are like the multi team and all these other game modes that you can easily get high scoring gameplays. We can't just like click a multi team or click a ground war and get straight into a game like you can on Xbox. The community is just too small, really. Like, there's not enough people online to play those game modes. The max you will see in multi-team is like 20 people or something. And those are all in Europe, basically, and they're all basically <laughs> tryhards, and you can't really get a gameplay from that. And you'll, they're all in Europe, so the connection's going to be really bad. But if you want to if you wanna play a uh, multi-team game on U.S. Connection... You have to go into like Nuke Jacked and invite your recent players from Nuke Jacked and hope they join your game. That is the only possible way to get a US connection multi team lobby. There's no other way. You even if you sit there for twenty four hours of the day and wait for people to join into your lobby, nothing's gonna happen. You can't do anything about it. So basically is what I'm saying is Ghost really killed the game. It's just been a steady decline, really, but Ghost was really the kicker to PC that really dropped the player count uh, very far. When Ghost first came out, there was 35,000 people online on the PC, and then Black Ops 2 was like, I don't know, 60,000 maybe. But, so it's just been going down and down and down. But ever since, I don't know, Modern Warfare 3, really, Seems like it's just gone down and down and down, downhill more every Call of Duty game. So what I'm hoping is that Advanced Warfare can bring the community back, and I'm hoping it's a good enough game. I mean, we can hope. You, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make any opinions yet based on the multiplayer. I'm not gonna say that oh, it looks like a bad game because we don't know anything about the multiplayer yet. We don't know how multiplayer is going to be we don't really know what is in the multiplayer we know the exoskeleton suits are going to be in there but we don't know what any of the maps are going to be like we don't know what the exoskeleton suits are going to really be able to do we don't know if they're going to be overpowered or if they're going to be pretty useful and cool and take skill to use and you have to know what you're doing with them you can't just go jumping all around killing people and stuff like titanfall did so i'm not going to make any opinions based on advanced warfare and all I'm going to say really is that if, if Advanced Warfare is not any good is that the community for Call of Duty is going to really flat out die, basically. There's going to be nothing left to Call of Duty. There's going to be nobody 
left playing any of it on the PC. It's going to basically be just overall dead. Nothing you can do. And right here I pick up the brutal metal and the round ends. And so I just go and sit in that corner. I'm like, oh, I want this nuclear. So there, on, back on with the commentary topic is that there's not enough people spread out based on all the old games. Like, sometimes there will even be more people playing Modern Warfare 3, but still, there's not many. There's never enough people to find a ground war or anything in any Call of Duty. Well, actually, I can't say that because I played Modern Warfare 2 today and found a ground war game, no problem. Actually, on good connection also. So, I don't know, maybe Modern Warfare 2 is the most populated COD on PC. But, on with the topic is, Ghosts is really dead. I think it's a good game, but for some reason, if you read my profile on Steam, or if you look at it, you'll see I now have two back bands on my account. And one of those is for Modern Warfare 2 for, uh, I don't know, I think I was probably getting into hacked lobbies or something. Because there's a lot of those for sure on PC. So I think Modern Warfare 2 was getting into hacked lobbies and maybe getting my uh, high level or something. I'm not quite sure. Or getting, like, because my prestige got hacked in that. So that might have been uh, what that was. So, But I rebought the game. And I if I see a hacked lobby, I just instantly leave it. Because usually they're obvious because they have all kinds of text on the screen. But that's besides the point. So I rebought that game. But now I'm banned from Ghosts and Modern Warfare 3. Which just makes no sense to me because I would play Modern Warfare 3 with Noah sometimes and I'd just run support for him and try to help him get some Moabs and I'd get some Moabs every now and then. But now all of a sudden I'm just banned from it. And then I, I had Ghosts uninstalled for months. Like literally I had it uninstalled for like two months or something I think. And then... I open it back up on my main account because for some reason, like, I st Steam Family shared my games to my secondary account because I made this one to play Black Ops 2, and I'm like, well, I may as well play all my games on this one, so I Steam Family shared it, and I'm like, why does it say purchase? So then I downloaded it and installed it on my main account, and it's like, you were, you were back banned, and that didn't make any sense to me because I had the game uninstalled. I guess maybe the mistake I made was reinstalling that game, but I don't know. That's what Payne said, at least. Which I thought was pretty funny, if you guys knew who Payne is. Uh, he's a Doom player for the Doom Clan, but just a little free shout out for him, even though I have a small channel. But that's basically it for the commentary. Just wanted to talk about the community, went on a bit of a rant about getting banned from games and random problems with VAC and Steam and however stupidity they do. And. Right here, I go into their spawn and wreck them, but then my teammate steals all these kills with his lightning strike. I could have had, like, all of these guys here, and then my teammate's lightning strike just comes in and steals all the kills. But the streak is coming to an end. I get destroyed by this noob. You'll see. You'll see in a second. Right here, I just get destroyed by this level 30-something. I can't read it. The window's so small. But that's the end of the streak, and that's basically the end of the gameplay. I think I get, like, three more kills or something. Nothing special, really. But I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and also enjoyed the commentary topic that I gave you guys today. And in the next video will be the Road to Commander without any audio. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.